Security considerations for extended telework. Home and remote work networks. Welcome to the second installment of the security considerations for extended telework series. In this video, we will be focusing on the security considerations of your home and remote work networks. As your work setting has changed, you will be using your home network now for telework, and many security issues will need to be addressed. Firstly, you will want to make sure that you have a strong password on your home router. Frequently, people implement simple and easily guessable passwords on their router, or they may have the password feature deactivated altogether. If the router is misconfigured, it may be accessible to people within the vicinity or even over the internet. To protect your work data and personal information too, make sure you implement a strong password on your home router using a combination of letters, numbers, and special characters with a minimum length of eight characters. In addition, make sure that your password is unique to your router. To protect yourself from a widespread breach, take care not to reuse passwords for other devices or logins. It is also essential that you update your home router firmware. Just like any other piece of internet-connected hardware, firmware on a router can have vulnerabilities. If the router firmware is not patched, it could be a vector for attack. In most homes, wireless routers sit under a table or in a closet collecting dust and haven't been updated in a really long time. Sometimes you have to physically connect a wire to the model to update it adequately. You'll need to check with the manufacturer to know whether this applies. It's crucial to understand that an increased amount of work-related data is going over your home network and you'll want to safeguard the means of travel for that data. The next item for consideration is auto connection of your work PC to your home network devices. Any device that is connected to your home network that does not have its firmware updated may be compromised. This includes printers, TVs, personal assistants, backup drives, and more. If you have personal backup devices, you may inadvertently connect your work PC to those backup devices through a shared connection to your home network. To avoid the accidental backup of sensitive work data on a personal drive, you want to refrain from auto-connecting your work PC to other devices on your network. As you can see, there is a lot to keep in mind about your home network. It's crucial to remember to keep your passwords complex and unique, your network devices up to date, and to avoid connecting to unnecessary devices. These practices will help protect your sensitive work information while working within your home. Many organizations make use of virtual private networks, also referred to as VPNs, to enable the work PC to connect to their corporate network securely. You will want to familiarize yourself with whether or not your organization makes use of a VPN. A lot of pressure is now being put on the VPN's network traffic. You may want to configure essential apps, such as Office 365, Dropbox, etc., to use less bandwidth. You will also want to restrict the use of YouTube and other streaming services over a VPN network, as they take up a large amount of bandwidth. This will help the VPN network remain stable while supporting all remote employees. Thank you for watching the second installment of the Security Considerations for Extended Telework series. We look forward to sharing our next installment, where we will discuss the security considerations of phishing attacks.